to thank you for joining us here on Polk Place. I'm Brian Lacey. I want to talk to you a little bit about foster parents and with Heartland for Children and foster parents and the need for them in Polk, Hardy, and Highlands County. And joining me in studio, two ladies, one is Tracy Deal. She's a foster care recruiter for Heartland for Children. Welcome to the show, Tracy. Thank you. And also Carmen Walker. She's also a foster care recruiter for Heartland for Children. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you for having us. Carmen, if you could tell me a little bit about Heartland for Children. Heartland for Children is a community-based care lead agency contracted with the Department of Children and Families um, that oversees all of child welfare for Hi Polk, Highlands, and Hardy County. So we oversee protective services, foster care, adoption, independent living services, um, prevention, family preservation, anything that can help support families, keep families together, or put families back together. All right, Tracy, talk to me a little bit about the job. What exactly does it entail? And plus, you have a little bit of experience when it comes to foster yes, parents. Yes, sir. So yeah, so our job is to recruit more families into the system. There's a definitive and urgent need for, to add more foster homes to our air district in our area. Um, but a little bit of backstory about me, I actually started um, not working, but working with Heartland for Children in 2014. Uh, we decided to adopt. Uh, we wanted a boy between the ages of 7 and 10, or a girl between the ages of 7 and 10. Um, went for an interview. The case manager really liked us. She called us up and said, hey, I have a little boy you might be interested in. He's nine months old. A little bit younger than yeah, we were slightly. looking for. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're like, okay, well, I didn't hear anything for a couple months. And she called us back and she said, remember that little boy that we talked about? I said, yes. And she said, would you still be interested if there was two of them? And I said, what in the world do you mean there's two of them? And she said, well, the mother had another child. Um, it was a baby, had just born. Uh, it's a little boy, newborn. Would you be interested? So we said yes, and we end up adopting um, my two sons. They are now 10 and 9, but at the time they were newborn and mm -hmm. 11 months old. Um, and we were done, done. We, we had, our family was complete. And in 2017, I got a call saying, would I be, I had a family member who just had a baby in the hospital, would I take him? So I adopted my youngest son in 2017, newborn, from the hospital. And we were da dun 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 da dun dun <laughs> And um, got a call in February 23 that the biological mom of my two older boys had had a baby, it was a girl. Uh, would I be interested? And I said no. I laughed and said no. Mm -hmm. And we adopted her last February. So <laughs> that's kind of how I got involved um, in Heartland for Children. <laughs> I'm, I'm sensing, I'm sensing a, a, a way to, to, to be done, 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 yes, done. Yes. When that phone rings, don't answer it. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, I have an inability to yeah, say no. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the world needs more people like you, right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. But talk to me a little bit about the job, if you would please sure sure so um, right now we have um, six over 1600 kids in care um, 11 111 of those are in foster group homes um, over 300 of them are in foster homes we have 274 foster homes in our area 274 174, 174. <laughs> we wish 274 yeah. yes 174 foster homes and we need about 76 more so we are Def desperately trying to increase our number of foster homes. Now, Carmen, when it comes to the job for you, um, talk to me about some of the challenges that you face in a position that you have of, of recruiting foster parents, if you would. Yeah, so um, Heartland for Children had that 250 foster homes pre-COVID, um, but since COVID, you know, the world is a different place. So. Um, whether it's the economy or families moving in together and maybe having less space in their home. Um, we've just had a lot of trouble getting back up to that 250 foster homes. So uh, we're trying to just think of anything that we can to connect with the community and partner with churches, community groups, businesses, schools, doctor's offices, um, coffee shops, whatever we can think of to um, get the word out that, that Heartland for Children and I mean a lot of foster agencies are really in need of foster parents right now. 
let's talk about the parameters of becoming a foster parent. What are the what are what are the steps that need to be taken for those that might be watching this and say, I want to be a part of that? Sure. What do they need to do? So first they can go to heartlandforchildren.org. Um, and get gather some information, there's a link that they can go to uh, sign up for one of the info nights. So we have an info night that is just strictly giving information about what's involved in becoming a foster parent, um, what are the steps they have to take. Um, but that's the first step is, is come to one of the information nights and get the information. Carmen, talk to me a little bit. I mean, you guys are on the front line when it comes to recruiting. Talk about some of the heartbreak of of the job and, and not being enough foster parents. And there are children out there through no fault of their own mm -hmm. that need the love, the care, the support that, that folks can give in their time of need. Talk to me a little bit of, of, of seeing that. Yeah, you're exactly right. It is to no fault of their own. Um, these children are put into this extremely difficult situation because of decisions that other people have made. Um, so they're just normal children who have been through a really difficult time. Um, and I think a lot of people are just scared, you know, maybe they've heard horror stories um, and there's always that fear of the unknown. But, um, you know, I've been a foster parent as well for several years and just when they walk through your front door, um, everything changes, you know, suddenly those numbers have a face and you know they're coming to you on probably the worst day of their life after enduring the unspeakable um, and they're tired they're scared even the teenagers um, and and it's just an amazing opportunity to love these children and be the open arms and the open hearts that they long for um, and it's it's not scary you know once they walk into your doors that fear kind of dissipates and it's just replaced with love Tracy, I'd like you to, to build on that. You've, uh, you've gone through the process of, of adoption. Talk about the difference that you have made in these children's lives and, and honestly the path they could have been on versus mm -hmm. the path that you're helping put them on. Talk about the importance of what you do and what foster parents can do in, in going in a tradition and helping Heartland for Children. Sure, I, I like to think that they've made more of a difference to me <laughs> than I've made to them. Um, but I, I think about these kids and my children and the ex experiences that they would have had. Um, we've, you know, my kids have traveled the world with me. Um, we've, we go on wonderful family adventures and they wouldn't have had, um, they wouldn't have had stability. They wouldn't have had, um, they oftentimes my, my youngest, my oldest son was 11 months old, but there was, he wasn't fed properly. Um, so th these kids go through a lot of trauma and to be able to give them st some stability, like Carmen said, um, during this, when they're facing their, their, the toughest time in their life, it means, all the, means the world to them. And sometimes they get reunified with their families and that's a good thing. That's mm -hmm. what, we're, what we want. Um, and sometimes it's just not meant to be and you know, they end up um, for, for up for adoption, so. Mm -hmm. Carmen, I'm gonna give you the last word on this. What I need you to do is stress the importance of becoming a foster parent. Stress the importance of, of making a difference in the life and let the folks know how they can become a part of this. You know, there are so many ways that people can support foster care. Um, not everyone can become a foster parent, but everyone can do something. And just with our situation, like everyone must do something for these children. Um, so obviously our first and biggest ask is for more foster parents. Um, you know, have those conversations with a spouse or um, you don't have to be married. You can be single, you can be married, you could be older, you could be younger. There's really no perfect foster parent. It's just normal people opening their homes and their, um, hearts. And their hearts. Yeah. So, so think about it, you know, maybe it's something that people have been thinking about for a long time and just have never taken that step. Um, and maybe it's that time to take that courageous step for the sake of a child. Um, and if you're not in a place to do that right now, then there are so many other ways to support and to help us just get the word out. 
Um, if you're connected with a business, maybe you could put a poster up or um, host an info night, um, putting it on emails, websites, uh, connecting with Heartland for Children through social media. So liking you know, Heartland for Children on Facebook, Instagram, following, sharing posts. We're always um, putting posts up about our numbers and our needs, and so sharing that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you just never know who that might reach. Um, if you're connected with a church or a community group, then we'd love to come out and share our stories and just share about the need. Well, ladies, I want to thank you for coming on and sharing your story, sharing your experience, and, and sharing the information. And any time that you guys need help, uh, the couch, come back and see me. Uh, I would love to help as much as, as what we can and, and make sure that there are enough foster families within the community to, uh, to help you guys reach your goals. Thanks for coming on. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. In Polk, Highlands, and Hardy County, there is a critical need for at least 70 more foster families for teen, sibling groups, and children with special needs. Your decision to foster can make a life-changing difference in the lives of children. With new foster care classes starting each month, it's easier than ever to get started. Now you can contact Heartland for Children at 863-519 8900 extension 289 or visit them at heartlandforchildren.org for more information. If you enjoyed that episode of Polk Place, I invite you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and even check out the next one.